Convulsive syncope is one of these terms that kind of matches in pretty close to other terms that we hear like psychogenic pseudo seizures or uh, psychogenic non-epileptiform seizures. They call these PNES. Basically what we're looking at is this kind of gray space where it's hard to determine whether or not someone is like passing out and then having spasms, myoclonus typically, where we have jerking of the muscles. Um, sometimes people will kind of vocalize or hallucinate in those moments as well. Convulsive syncope is kind of like that. It's, it's passing out, but we're having these myoclonic events. They're different from what we usually classify with a typical seizure because we don't see the epileptiform waves on the EEG. So a lot of times the way that they diagnose these is to use an EEG and try to capture the event that people have while they're wearing like a mobile EEG. And if they have that event, you know, they pass out, they fall over, whatever they're gonna do, and they have that convulsive type of event, but there's no epileptiform activity, then they kind of get bucketed into this category where usually the kind of the common term now is PNES, but also convulsive syncope is kind of like arriving at the same place through some different language. In, in both cases, when we're seeing these types of events that don't have the seizure activity, we want to look very, very, very hard at what blood pressure looks like and specifically what does blood flow to the brain look like. And these are huge indicators for us. And these are patients that tend to see a really big upside because a lot of times they've been kind of dismissed by a whole lot of people and told it's in their head when actually they're having problems delivering blood flow to their head. When you solve that, they tend to do really well.